Hello everyone, this is Dan here with Grapevine Recording, and how is it going today? Um, we've actually got something to talk about. We've actually got a legit video to do today, which is a, uh, which it makes a change considering all the other videos that I've been doing recently. So, um, you know, if you don't mind hitting that like button, that would be amazing because we can finally get on track. So, what I want to talk about today is uh, the past week, like, yeah. About the past week, I've been working on mixing a movie. I spoke about it in the previous video. And I've learned a few things. I've learned a couple of things regarding like the process of, of working on certain projects and things like that. And I wanted to just share them ideas with you. Hopefully they will help you out. Um, the reason why I learned these is because I had a super, super, super quick turnaround in this film. Um, I was brought in to mix it. And I think... By the time I got the movie, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Going from the time when I received it to the time when it's going to get shown actually live in a theatre is four days. Yeah, 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 you heard me right. Yeah, four days from when I got it to when I have to, when I go and actually see it. So it was, it was a very, very, very quick turnaround, as you can imagine. So what I want to share with you is actually what it what it is that I learned and what it is that I had to do to allow me to basically mix the movie in a day. So, first of all, it's worth saying that it wasn't the world's longest movie. I think it was about 15 minutes. It was just a little short film, local film from, uh, from Liverpool. A guy got in touch with me who was approached to mix it. He was too busy, so passed it over to me. I graciously accepted it, as you all know that I tend to do. And... Um, and yeah, I had I had I had four days from receiving it to to showing it. So these are the things that I did to help help facilitate such a fast turnaround. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because even though I had to do this in a super quick you know turnaround, which uh, you doesn't tend to happen too often. Like I haven't had anything that's been as fast as this in terms of a turnaround, but. Um, this is something that I can use, like the things that I've learned in this, I'm going to use in projects where I might have two months, I might have six months, I might have a week. You know, um, it, it's very transferable from project to project. And I think it was just a pretty decent mindset idea. And hopefully if I explain it to you, you don't have to go and take a project which you've got to mix in a day for years to learn it. So the thing that I would say with this is the fundamental part of this video that I'm trying to say to you is... is Pre-production is key. Pre-production is gospel. It's absolutely the most important thing in a situation like this. Um, of course, if you've been hired or if you've been asked to do a job, like a mixing job, a sound design job, sound editor job, whatever, you've obviously got the skills to do the job, right? So the actual production side of it, the thing that you are hired to do, you can do. So what you need to do is to help yourself as much as possible. You need to give yourself as much time, as much information. You just need to help you do that job as good as possible. And that's where pre-production comes in. So from when I was actually asked to do it, I think there was about two weeks from when I would agree to the project before the actual final submission date. So um, once, once I'd agreed to be on board, obviously then it was all go. You've got to You've got to do as much work as possible before you receive the movie to allow that when you do receive the movie, you can work as, as well as you possibly can. For me, what that meant was just watching the movie over and over again, writing extensive notes about things that the movie needed, things that the movie lacked, you know, just, just to give you little pointers so that when you actually come to start working, you're not going in completely blind. And these type of notes are, are crucial in every part of this type of industry. You know, if you work in a studio with a band, you'd, you'd be expected to take notes just so you can constantly be up to date with what's going on. So you have a full understanding of what's going on. It's like taking notes when you're in school. It's just these little pointers, these little revision notes, so that you can already process the information in your brain before you actually come to do the work. And it's super, super important. Um, I think in a situation like this, I had to become very, very familiar with the movie. I had to know when certain things were going to happen. I had to have an understanding of the tone of the movie and writing notes down and getting an understanding of characters, getting an understanding of themes, understanding of locations, all very, very important. Plus as well, 
what this allows you to do is that in some cases in this movie there was a couple of sounds that were missing and it just allowed me then to just source them sounds early on instead of actually coming to the end of the mix and being like oh actually I need this Atmos track for a cafe scene it just allows you to be prepared allows you to be knowledgeable and just allows you to work faster second of all uh, what I would also say is super super important is to have a constant dialogue with the filmmakers uh, whether it's a director director of photography whoever it is that actually uh, approaches you to hire you whoever has the best understanding of what the movie is you want to be their best friend you want to be in complete conversation with them because you're the conduit to make their film the way they want their film to be made like make no mistakes obviously we're we're all trying to do the best job as possible we're all creators we all have an idea but you work for them in this case and i've always held the belief of that we all we all strive to make the film as good as possible or the project or the game or you know whatever it is that you're doing you're all working towards the same end goal and a open and truthful dialogue between you and between the director or the producer or whoever it is can only make things better in my opinion um, you will have disagreements there will be some kind of arguments different of opinions things like that but it is all there to make the movie better make the project better that's something that is super important to learn and that is probably my number one tip ever is remember that the project is key that is the main thing you know you've you've really got to let go of your pride and be humble and be respectful of learning and knowing that you know you're just there to improve what they've done so far and you're just the next step in the process and you're all working to push this project as as good as possible and you can be wrong at this point but having an open dialogue with the director or the filmmaker you know whoever it is let them know as well that you're willing to learn you're willing to be incorrect like here's my opinion here's what i read it as am i correct and if they say well no you're not you're like well fine cool no problem what is it that i'm meant to be reading at that point well you're meant to be reading this great stuff okay now i can make better decisions to help accentuate that feeling that you got or that feeling that you're trying to portray in my opinion as well in the time that i've been doing this is that the people who i have the the most open dialogue with are the filmmakers that i'm closest to these are the people now who gain a lot more respect for you you gain a lot more respect for them because you're willing to voice what you feel about this movie whenever you do then have an opinion and you voice it to them they know that you're not just saying it for the sake of you're saying it because that's really what you feel and finally the last the last thing i would say as well is that it's always very important even when you're working to keep a constant dialogue to keep a constant update let people know what's going on uh, if they give you a deadline be respectful of the deadline uh, agree with it beforehand get very hard deadlines set in so that you can you know where your final date is and then if that means you can set a soft deadline a little bit further forward great and to be honest with you is that's that's basically it it's just you know pre-production is your work starts before you receive the work so make sure that you create notes create like a paperwork trail where you can say to them you know um, this is what i think's going on here's the opinions i have what do you think about them um being ready to be wrong and it's not like being wrong in school when you get a big you know you don't get an x next to your name and you never work with it again you know being open to being incorrect is a massive respect builder in my opinion and just being willing to work being willing to know that it's gonna take a lot of work in a short amount of time to get this type of job done but this is the industry that we're in this is the industry that we chose and I think people who are willing to work hard, people who are willing to be open, people who are willing to, you know, go that step further than maybe is expected of them, are the people who really find that this is a career that they love. And you go and look at people who have been doing this for a long time, you know, people who've been doing it for 20 plus years, 
these are the type of practices that they do. This is the type of thing that they do on a daily basis, regardless of if you know, you've got a day to mix a movie or you've got 18 months to go and do the next Iron Man film or whatever. Uh, the, it, it all remains the same. It's these practices that we can put in now while we're working on small things, little indie films. We can get these working practices in place so that when we move on to a larger scale project, we've already got the foundations there. Because as I said from the very, very beginning, the work... Like, the thing that you're getting hired to do, you can do. We can all, like, we know that we can do it, because we do it. That's why we're in these situations now. It's these other little things, the behind-the-scenes projects, the little, you know, workflow techniques, the little the little work and practices are the things that set us apart from people who can just do the job to people who want careers. And that's basically the situation... That I wanted to speak to you about. Um, it's been an eye opener. It's been an eye opener for well two weeks, but four days mainly. Um, I still haven't had the premiere yet. The premiere is tomorrow, I think. Um, so we'll see when it all comes out, and there's a place for you to go and see it. I will indeed let you know, of course. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. It was it was good to actually be back to a regular, regular video where we actually talk about things that are relevant good i liked it uh, i'm in a different room as well you know just changing changing their uh, locations on a whim but uh yes so thank you so very much for watching um all the subscribers we've been getting lately um welcome thank you for uh coming on in so i'll be back as soon as i possibly can but all the best everyone enjoy take it easy so also, you may want to add your own opinions to this. If you do, if you've got any different opinions, if you've got anything you want to add, leave it in the comments below. But uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. I will very much appreciate that. But bye-bye.